So what's good Team G fan? Welcome back to the channel. Um, listen, the next video we're getting into is what's the deepest hole we could possibly dig? <laughs> I know there's like a kinky joke in there somewhere, but I'm gonna leave that alone, all right? Listen, as a kid though, running around playing, you know what I mean? Digging holes, digging deep holes. You often wonder like, how far could I possibly go? But nobody physically, no human physically could possibly dig that deep to which we were thinking as a kid, right? But uh, when you see it, when I see a video like this, it, it, it brings me back to that time which sparked those interests and in, in my imagination running wild. So this video right here is, is I hope to be pretty dope. Uh, shout outs to, what's their name again? Uh, Real Life Lore. For this video we about to check out all right so if you're new to the channel man hit the subscribe button the two month free trial so at some point in their lives nearly everybody has wanted to dig a hole down to the center of the earth the yep. only problem is nobody ever has actually dug a hole down that far this leads us to the question that this video is all about if humanity decided that digging a hole was the number one objective of our species then how deep down could we actually dig with modern day technology let's say that we start so now with that question being proposed and us watching like the nash the um the natural phenomena video where you know you had like the landslides and different things like that and you see different things happen it kind of makes you think of the possibilities of how far it can be you know can we actually go and what would we run into like i i, I don't put it past nobody bro but i'd be scared to do it at the same time just to what would we unearth somewhere on the earth's surface dig with modern day technology let's say that we start somewhere on the earth's surface and just start digging from there not too far down at 1.8 meters and we arrive at the standard grave depth in western culture so if you're afraid of zombies this is how far down they'll be coming from four meters down and we arrive at the depth that pharaoh tutankhamun's tomb was discovered at a little further at six meters below the surface we've reached the maximum depth that metal detectors can pick up signals from at 12 meters, we can find the deepest burrows dug by animals, the Nile crocodile. A little- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you digging down and you could possibly run into a crocodile who done burrowed down into the ground like- Stop! How many of y'all knew that? <laughs> I gotta hear that again to make sure I heard that right. 12 meters, we can find the deepest burrows dug by animals, the Nile crocodile. A little further down- 39 feet deep, bro. You digging and you happen to run into a crocodile. What the fuck? At 20 meters and we burrows dug by animals, the Nile crocodile. A little further down at 20 meters and we arrive at the depth of the Paris catacombs beneath the city of Paris, a tomb that holds the remains of over 6 million people. Double that distance to 40 meters down and we can see the deepest swimming pool in the world. If you drained this pool and jumped into it from the top, it would take nearly 3 seconds before you would hit the bottom. 100 meters down is the usual distance. 1 1,000 fallen, 2 1,000 fallen, 3 1,000 fallen. You're just now hitting the ground. That's insane. Nearly three seconds before you would hit the bottom. 100 meters down is the usual distance that governments bury their nuclear waste at. And just beneath that, at 105.5 meters down, is the deepest metro station in the world located in Kiev. Moving on to 122 meters down, and we see the deepest known point that a plant's roots have ever reached, a fig tree in South Africa. 220 meters down, and we arrive at the deepest river in the world, the Congo River in Africa. Beyond that, at 240 meters, you can ride through the deepest railway tunnel in the world that connects the Japanese islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. But at 287 meters down, you can drive through the deepest road tunnel in the world in Norway. 305 meters down, and you would still be vulnerable to the B-82 Earth-penetrating nuclear warhead. 
So for those of you thinking that underground is the way to escape warheads, nuclear warheads, different things like that, right? Thousand and one feet for the B-82 warhead. Meaning that you need to go further down <laughs> to not feel impact, bro. Are y'all getting nervous yet? Is this making y'all, is this messing with your anxiety like it does mine? Just want to know. It's really messing with me right now. Here's down and you would still be vulnerable to the B-82 earth penetrating nuclear warhead, which can destroy structures up to this depth beneath the surface. Incredibly though, at 392 meters, we arrive at the deepest well and possibly deepest hole ever dug by hand. This is the Wooding Dean water well in the UK, and it was dug all the way back in 1862. At 603... That guy. Who is that guy? Who was that guy? His hands... Remind you, he said dug by hand. His hands needed to be like clayed and molded and be in some type of Smithsonian or some type of, of, of uh, museum or something, man. Like, bro. By hand. UK, and it was dug all the way back in 1862. At 603 meters down, we arrive at something terrifying, the deepest vertical drop inside of a cave. If you were unfortunate enough to be in this cave and fall down this hole, the fall would be higher up than falling from the top of the One World Trade Center in New York, and the fall would take you over 11 seconds before hitting the bottom. Even further down, though, at 700... Meaning you're dead before you hit that. You're dead before you hit that bottom. Hopefully. You over 11 seconds before hitting the bottom. Even further down though at 700 meters is where the Chilean miners were trapped at for 69 days back in 2010. 970 meters down is the deepest hole ever dug that still has an open sky above it, the Bingham Canyon Open Pit Mine in Utah. This pit is so deep that you could place the tallest building in the entire world in the center and still have over 100 more meters to the surface. Much further down at 1,410 meters though is where the deepest concert ever held happened by the band Agonizer in Finland. 1,642 meters down is the depth of the deepest lake on Earth, Lake Baikal in Russia, and 1,857 meters down is the deepest part of the Grand Canyon. Ooh. The deepest known cave on Earth is located 2,197 meters beneath the surface in Georgia, but the deepest- Wait, where? The deepest cave is in Georgia. Ne never knew that. Never knew that. 2,197 meters beneath the surface in Georgia, but the deepest hole that you could actually fall into goes way deeper than even this. All the way down at 3,132 meters is the bottom of the Moab Katsong mineshaft in South Africa. Taking the elevator takes four and a half minutes to reach the bottom, but if you fell into it from the top, it would take you 25 entire seconds for you to hit the bottom and think about what you've just done. Long enough to receive and miss an entire phone call. Even further down at 3,600 meters is the deepest point that a multicellular organism has been found alive, this freaky looking worm. But human beings themselves have been even deeper than this. 4,000 meters down is the deepest part of the deepest mine on Earth, also located in South Africa. I know y'all looking at the, the meters, but are y'all paying attention to what's in parentheses? Miles, right? 2.5 miles. 2.5 miles down where we're right now. The deepest mine, 2.5 miles. Stop, bro. <sighs> the trip from the surface down to the bottom takes over an hour to complete, and the temperature at the bottom can reach a sweltering 66 degrees Celsius. 6,000 meters is the average depth of the oceanic crust beneath the ocean floor. Way down at 8,848 meters is the height of Mount Everest if it were placed underground instead. 10,994 meters down is the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean. I already covered the depth of the ocean in another video, but... We gotta check that video out, because that's what I was waiting to hear. Like, what part do we think? Because I still don't think that we've, because we, we still haven't covered the entire ocean. We haven't discovered everything that's out there. We haven't covered the entire ocean. So 
I think that's still just speculation on what's the deepest part of the ocean. It could go deeper somewhere else that we haven't discovered yet. And just to hear that point, though, is just still mind boggling. But unbelievably, humans have actually dug down significantly deeper than even this. For reference about what's next, 11,887 meters is the average altitude that a commercial airliner flies at. But deeper than that, at 12,262 meters is the depth of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, a project where the Soviet Union attempted to drill all the way through the Earth's crust. They only reached a third of the way there, though, because the temperature at this depth reached 180 degrees Ooh. Celsius, which was too hot for the drill to continue operating any further. Further. The hole is also only 23 centimeters wide, so luckily you can't accidentally fall into it. If you dropped a quarter down the shaft though, it would take about 50 seconds before it hit the bottom. Recently, however, this depth has been surpassed by the Z44 Shavio oil and gas well, which has drilled down to a depth of 12,376 meters. That's the equivalent of stacking 15 Burj Khalifas on top of each other, and currently represents the deepest hole that humanity has ever dug. The crust, however, can extend down to 70,000 meters below the Earth's surface, and the planet's center is located 6,371 kilometers down. If the surface of the Earth is Lisbon, Portugal, and the planet's center is Astana, Kazakhstan, then humanity so far has just ventured this tiny, insignificant distance. A lot of you have asked me before what software I use to create I don't want another software, but fam, did that just not blow y'all's mind? I like watching videos like this, man. You know, we be doing our little YouTube university thing, man, where we be going to school together and we be learning stuff, man. But stuff like this is just, it's, it's super interesting to me, man. Just like some cold, hard facts, or, or we would hope these are cold, hard facts, um, about things like this, bro. Because like he said, in the, he, he kind of, Echo my same sentiments, man. Playing as a kid, you often thought, like, you never went in this, in depth like this. But you was like, man, I wonder how far you would have to dig to get to the center of the earth, man. And what would it be like? And is it possible, man? Just digging, digging your little one foot hole, you were thinking like that, man. And to see us attempt and the things we've accomplished just lets us know, man, that it, it's po it'll be possible one day with technology advancing the way it is it, it definitely will be possible one day but the question now is what will we find what will be the outcome what will be made of of the discoveries of what we find like boom. you know what I mean <laughs> ah bro stuff like this get me hyped I know it may be boring to some people but not to me man I enjoy stuff like this you know what I'm saying so that's why I told y'all, man, I'm the most randomest person ever. Never judge a book by its cover because you will look at me and never expect me to, to be intrigued by some video like this, man. But I am. I like it. You know what I mean? So y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe. Stick around and stay tuned to the next reaction of my piece. Y'all stay solid. Hey.